Hi, my name is Alex Wolford and I wanted to show you how you can add an incrementing counter to a data collector pipeline. I have a dev data source here with four records. If we look at the configuration, you can see that I've just added some JSON here. And now I'm using Jython to implement the incrementing counter. There's a variable called state and this state variable keeps the state for the duration of the pipeline for this particular processor. So the scope of it is for the processor and the life cycle of this variable is for the pipeline run. In the init section here, I've initialized the variable to one. Then for each record, I'm taking the current record counter and I'm adding that to a field in the record and then I'm incrementing the counter. So that's pretty simple really just a couple of lines of Jython. I think it's worth mentioning that there are other types of IDs that we can use to enrich records. So in this case, I've also added a UUID, that's a universally unique identifier. And I've also added a pipeline ID. So let's have a look at these. So you can see the UUID and the pipeline ID here. In addition to that, I also added the host name and I used Jython to do this. So you can see here is a field called host name. Let's pop over to the configuration. Now I could have put this in the script, but this would execute once for each batch. So it's a little bit more efficient to put it in the init. Like before, you can see that the host name has been stored in the state and I'm appending it to a field called host name like this. For help, here are some other resources you could go to if you get stuck. You could go to ask.streamsets.com. It's like Stack Overflow. We've also got a Slack channel, a Google group, and some pretty great documentation on the web. Thanks very much for watching.